All right, one more thing with the frames. Um, frames can have background colors. Not every item can have a background color. A, a fixed can't, but a frame can. So I went through and filled everything out. So there's frame one inside of uh, the first page. Um, there's frame two inside the second. Frame three in charge in uh, inside the. Uh, let me open it up here. Frame three, and I gave them um, those names. Uh, so there's a frame two. Um, there's a frame three. And there's a frame four. Those are the IDs up there. Because in order to change the color, you have to do it from inside the code. All of the setup of the frames and so forth was done from uh, the uh, from the Glade level, from the XML level. So basically, all I did was make oh, was that I repop I populated everything here. Um, I populated. Uh, I moved all, uh, various things down into them. So all of the all of the tabs here. It takes a couple of clicks to get it through. Um, is um, are um, are filled in the last one in the f previous video only did the first frame, all right. So um, and they have uh, appropriate names like nice frame three and nice frame four. You can give it any name you want up here, and you can probably get in there and change the color of the uh, text too. Haven't tried that. Okay, so there we are. We got uh, we got the frame names: frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four. So we go down to the code here, and we go to our widget setups and I've got a widget for frame one, frame two, frame three, and frame four. And I pull them out of the builder. Uh, frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four. Pretty redundant, but you know, that's the way it works. Okay, down in the in the color scheme, um, first one here is the window, which we've already done. Um, I've already declared color, so I don't have to redeclare it. It's it's up here. Um, we've declared right there. Um, so anyway, so for the for frame one I do a modify BG or background on frame one, and I give it the color. And I do the same thing for frame two, frame three, frame four. Okay, so I varied the colors. The first one here is slightly blue. I lowered the um, the other two colors to all A's, a hexadecimal, of course, and I went blue to triple E to quad E, and then I went green, and the other two were um, green was uh, four E's, and red and blue were four A's. And then I raised the red to um, to four uh, E's, and I raised and, and I left the other two at um, at triple A, or quad A. And then down here uh, I did red and green, which should give me a yellow. So those are the colors. They'll be um, they'll be set up before the window appears. You can dynamically change backgrounds anywhere in your code. I'm doing this before the window appears, but that doesn't mean you can't do it at any time you want to. Uh, so anyway, they are in there, and um, uh, and if you compile it, um, run uh, compiling works. Uh, and if I run it, well, you see the slightly darker blue here. If I click Tab Two, I get the green, and that's the one with the red. It looks a little more like pink, but I'm not doing colors. I'm well here actually is the color selector, um, but nonetheless. Um, and finally, we get the yellow. So you have your um, it's kind of interesting. It's um, not really complicated, but it makes your page look a little different. Um, the uh, all of these guys still work. You notice the label up here is uh, popping when I do it, and if I pick a color, well, that shows up in the background over here. There's the colors that were selected, um, and um, again, the um, if you play with the text. Um, it shows up in the background there. Likewise, over here, the check button uh, does show up um, over there. And the color of the background here got uh, changed because of the uh, selection of the red here. Okay, so it um, adds color. Uh, the problem with GTK is it has a tendency to be everything to be a shade of gray. Uh, <clears throat> they're not. The overall background has a slight uh, blue tint to it. You can set the colors to anything you want or not even play with the colors. Just leave it the base colors. Um, you have to be careful, by the way, when you're making um, user interfaces, uh, not to get, not to make it too dependent on colors. Background colors are usually not a problem, but foreground colors, like you know, text in color, is often a problem. Um, the problem is that about one third of males are colorblind to some extent. Uh, colorblindness is uh, less common amongst females, uh, but uh, amongst men, it's uh, one third. Um, to some extent, uh, supposedly. So you don't want to make your page um, illegible by as much as a third of the population. Oh, the one third of one half of the population, I guess it would be. So um, 
the colors are okay, but as long as you don't get too far into it, uh, the VI editor is way too far into colors. And um, the default bash um, terminal uh, script is uh, way too much into colors, and it is a problem for some people. I'm not one of them, but um, nonetheless, I remind you that colors can be an issue. But I don't think a, a yellow background is going to cause a problem. All right.